All right, guys. So first off, I want to apologize for all the fucking bird noise. It's fucking driving me crazy. But I hope you love birds uh, chirping in the background. My kids might pop in. You just never know. But I want to show you guys the rifle. And uh, man, about about another week or two, and the man cave will be ready. The the gun room, and I'll be able to do videos there with or maybe nice and quiet, better lighting. Uh, you know, the camera on a fixed tripod or something. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, I want to show you this beauty because, I mean, this is, uh, I think pretty much one of the best rifles that I've ever had. Um, I always wanted a 14.5. So, you know, that brand right there, yep, Novensky. Now, uh, that's a good, that's a good brand right there. And uh, let's talk about this, this rifle. Um, it's, it's basically put together. It's, uh, <coughs> well, let's talk about it. Front to back. So we got a Vortex flash hider and um, spinning welded because it is a 14.5 barrel. Um, it is uh, a 14.5 pinning welded barrel. So, you know, to get it to like a length, you know, you got to have that pinning welded. So I might have this changed though. I might uh, end up uh, getting either the FS fi FSC 556 or the, the Lantec Dragon. Uh, or, or something like that. I think it's what it's called. It's pretty cool. Not that this thing has any recoil, but it is an AR-15, and you know, this is this works pretty good. You know, it's there for now. So, 14.5 barrel. This I just got today. And I just uh, mounted it today. So I haven't tested this out, and I haven't tested the EOTech out. I have shot this rifle with the scope. I had it the the Vortex Viper red dot sight on it, and this thing, you know, it's a tag driver. You know, Novesky barrels are freaking crazy accurate. Um, you know, they do the part. They, for what I needed, you know, you, you know, and you'll take, come on. You know, for, for what it is, it's going to be very accurate. And um, so, we got the stream light today. This is uh, putting out 320 lumens. Or three 350, I think. So, I'm new to this. Um, I wanted a scout light. Uh, something I can mount to the rail directly with a flashlight so I picked it up I picked it up uh, today and uh, so I got it mounted at the 12 o'clock position on the rail uh, put some zip ties on it these little rubber these are like little rubber inserts they go on the Picatinny and these hold that they hold it in but um, and then also comes with some screws that you can put on top but since this is a quad rail I'm not gonna do that uh, if there was a plastic handguard, maybe I would. And if it was anything other than a Nevesky, maybe I would too. But since it, it isn't permanent there, uh, hopefully these uh, zip ties will hold up. We'll see. And like I said, the train, everything's going to be in the background, guys. Sorry. Can't do nothing about it. Uh, hopefully this rifle distracts you from that. But, um, so this Nevesky upper has this uh, Viltor patent pending. Um, uh, I think, uh, what's the name of it? I forgot the name of this actual uh, design. Uh, but like I said, it's on a Vesky, uh, the upper. And I thought it was a billet at first, but I think it's just a T775. Uh, uh, it just has these cool designs. Um, and then the lower is a really good lower too. Uh, the lower is uh, an LMT. So, you know, Lewis machining tool. Uh, it's, no slouch this thing has a phenomenal trigger guys it, it's this trigger doesn't come with these lmts but this trigger is freaking it's, it's badass and um the paddle here uh is up a little bit because we are we're empty so you know i'm pointing the gun at the neighbors and stuff so I just didn't want to have an empty magazine and then these uh these hex mags they're okay but uh oops show you a little bit more so anyway so we got um the, the i got this for about 210 bucks uh because it was on a rifle that uh, that i bought and it's it's a cool it's a cool yield tech i mean it works it's a 512 um and i can always get my money back because this this one here uh was made in 2013 so i can actually make money on this thing uh if i send it to yield tech um so, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it for a while. You know, the shift, uh, the whole shift thing doesn't really bother me. 
um, you know, hey, it is what it is. And these are Troy flip-up sights. They're Mark Noveski, but they're Troy uh, sights. And the front doesn't go all the way down because of uh, where I positioned the actual uh, light. But uh, you can see it from from here. It's really not in the way. You you can't hardly see it uh, when you're when you're on the rifle. But I kind of like the front sight being up like that when even with the yield tech. I don't know, just uh, it feels like a fixed front sight. And I like that it's the traditional ears where you see the lady, you see the naked lady through your peep sight. I love that. I love that sight. Even though I think this is a lesbian because, I mean, to me, all, all my rifles are, are girls and obviously I can see a girl through the peep sight. Or maybe that is, that's her, right? Anyway, some people won't get that unless you know how the peep sight looks. <laughs> so anyways, the LMT lower, uh, it came with this uh, really ergonomic grip from Ergo Grips. It is an Ergo Grip. I like it. It's really nice, really comfortable. Um, put on uh, it had a sop mod uh, b5 so i took that off uh, it's a good stock but um i am a guy who has a beard so i need something with zero holes on top and the ctr fits the niche um for what i need and um this is an ms3 sling uh quote unquote um they call it an ms3 sling with a, a gen 2 uh, MS or it's an MS1 MS1 sling you can see here yeah. if I can get you to look at this uh, MS1 this is uh, the slider is really you know MS1 here and MS3 on that anyways I like it I like the setup this is a really cool uh, quick release quick detach uh, quick make big make small star um, sling so I like that. I like that setup. Let's see what else haven't I touched on? The Hicks mag was given to me by a good buddy of mine. Uh, rest in peace to his dad. So, uh, feel you, brother. Feel you. And all uh, oh, the trigger. Let me see if I can get this open with one hand. Cause, like I said, guys, it's I don't I don't know the I don't know the name brand of it. I don't I don't know if it has one. I just know it's a really good trigger, so let's put this thing on fire. You can see the hammer has its own design. It's not like no mil spec hammer, but I mean, dude, it breaks freaking sweet. 